Okay, in this video I want to keep going over some of the challenges of this uh, score assignment. I want to show you how to change the measure numbers. I want to show you how to split the measures around rehearsal mark C. I want to show you also how to extract a particular part and show you how to do multi-measure rests. Okay, first of all, let's figure out measure numbers. As you can see in our excerpt, we start here with measure 29. If we click on the measure tool, we can edit, edit measure number regions. Region 1 is measure 2 through 299. We don't want that. We want it to be measure 41. Hit OK. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and 48. So we can start our measure number to be whatever we want. So that's how we solve that problem. So we get letter C at measure 52. Measure 53, we're going to have to split into two so we can have a double bar line for the key change and I'll show you how to do that next. Okay to fix this problem I'm going to go to edit insert measure stack after I selected measure 52 I'm going to add one measure then I'm going to come to my time signature tool I can right click or control click and I'm going to change my time signature with the time I want it to be from this measure to this measure I want to change the beat direction to 1 4 okay and I need to select this measure insert measure stack one measure and I'm going to going to change the time signature to 1 8 this is going to be going to allow me to copy the first two beats of my 3 8 measure So let me put all my notes in. I'm going to delete the rest and turn that into a quarter note. I know it's not ideal, but it's my workaround. Then I can select my eighth note here. Copy and paste it over. Then I can delete this whole measure.
I now need to hide my time signatures. I'm going to select these two measures. I'm going to right click, edit measure attributes. I can change my bar line to the double bar line while I'm in here. Time signature. Be able to be hidden. I need to go to an always hide. Here it is time signature, always hide. And there's your workaround. It was messy, but we got it done. We also need to hide this. Time signature. And then we're back in 3.8. So that's how you do that nasty measures at rehearsal mark C. Okay, so now that we got that measure split in, we don't want finale to count this measure in the measure numbering and right now it is we have 52, 53, 54, 55, 56 we don't want to count this, it's essentially a mid piece pickup so we're going to select the measure tool we're going to right click or control click edit measure attributes we're going to uncheck the box included measure numbering hit OK and now 56 went back to 55 so it's not going to count that while I'm here when I changed my bar lines I changed both and I didn't want to I just wanted to change the one so we're back there need to put in the key signature change again but there you have how to do that all right To put in, to edit just a specific part, remember you can go to document, edit part, we can go just specifically to the flute part. We can select multiple measures, control click, right click, multi-measure, rests, create. And that's how we'll do that when we export our parts. We can also control click, multi-measure, rests, and break those multi-measure rests. But this is a way that you can just work on an individual part. But let's say we're all done. We're over here on edit score. We can export we can come over here to the score manager. File info. Score manager. When we're done, we can come up here to file extract parts. And what that'll do is it'll save a separate file. Right now my 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 file is called project number seven. It'll save a file for every part. Project number seven hyphen and then it'll list the part here. Dot MUSX. So if I include the score, that way I'll have a score part. So I want to check all and I'm gonna hit OK. And what it's doing is it's creating a file for every instrument, and they will open all of them up on my screen. So here's the double bass part, the cello part, 
viola part all the way through all of your parts. So for this assignment, I believe I required you to submit like the oval part or something. So when you go to file export parts, you only need to export both the score and the individual part that I asked for. You'll notice that instead of saying score, it says the individual player's part. This will be great for future orchestration projects. I know I had to take an orchestration course in college and we had to provide parts for every instrument that we scored for. So that's how you extract parts. Hopefully that will give you all the info you need to finish this project. If not, make sure you ask in the how do you discussion section so I can answer those questions or maybe your classmates can answer them. All right. Good luck.